welcome to the New Jersey Morning Show. I'm Dina Delisa Gonser. And I'm Mike Favetta. Welcome, everyone. 2024 marks the 150th anniversary of the Washington Association of New Jersey. It's arguably the most historic location in the state, which was chosen by General George Washington and his staff to shelter during the harsh winter storms during the Revolutionary War. To celebrate, WANJ has created an American History exhibit at the Morristown and Morris Township Library. President of the WANJ, Michael Mullen, is here to tell us all about it. Michael, welcome to the show. Thank you guys for having us. We appreciate it greatly. So can you tell us a little bit more about the Washington Association of New Jersey? What is the purpose of the group? So it started way back when, 150 years ago, uh, when a group of four men got the idea that they would buy the old Jacob Ford mansion so that they could develop it for historical purposes to celebrate the life and times of George Washington. I often suspect that maybe they had other entrepreneurial ideas, but those ideas may not have uh, hit their uh, right path. And so what happened is the Washington Association then began to coordinate events, uh, conversations, uh, presentations, seminars, dealing with issues pertaining to George Washington, and of course, the American Revolution. The other thing that the Washington Association did is with respect to its annual uh, meeting, it would invite well-known historians to address the group. Now, some of these historians became very famous people. They became presidents, they became governors, uh, they became presidents of Princeton University. And so we celebrate that uh, every year on President's Day uh, in late February. And so it's a great tradition and with that, we embark upon numerous activities uh, other than the uh, annual luncheon, if you will, in order to keep the idea of George Washington and the experience of the uh, winters in Morristown alive. And so- Michael, this, that's very I exciting. Yeah, especially when you were telling us about, uh, before we were talking earlier, uh, before the show, about the exhibit in Morristown, what sort of things will people find there? Since, you know, you're a history buff and there's a lot of history steeped at Washington headquarters. So you'll find a little bit of everything. You'll find pictures, meaning paintings, that depict the scenes of colonial Morristown and the American Revolution. You'll find primitive photographs that depict the activities of the Washington Association, particularly when it was just getting started. Uh, you'll find dolls, which is sort of surprising, mm. which are based upon uh, figures uh, relating to the American Revolution in the Morristown area. What you find is uh, the Washington Association in concert with the National Park Service takes care of and attempts to make better the Jacob Ford Mansion, which is where Washington and Hamilton and the other generals uh, hung out, if you will, during those two terrible winters. The other thing that you'll find uh, at the exhibit would be in addition to pictures and paintings and dolls, you'll find copies of articles which were published, which relate to the various talks which famous people gave at the annual meeting uh, each February. Uh, so it's a real combination of things. And it was done most definitely by design so as to attract parents, mm. senior citizens, and the kids to make it a fun experience. And so, and that's the idea is to uh, make it fun so there can be a better than good celebration as to the uh, uh, experience of, of Mars Town 
in the uh, revolutionary times. Well, that sounds really interesting. And being I'm a parent myself, spring break is coming up. I'm looking for things to do. So how long is the exhibit available and how can we get tickets? So the exhibit, the great thing about the exhibit is as a parent, uh, my kids are now older, but as a parent, the great news about the exhibit, it's for free. There's ah. no charge. Uh, that tick, the exhibit will run until August of this year. That uh, you don't need a reservation per se, unless you wanted to have a docent meaning a volunteer mm -hmm. who's well-versed in historical matters, give you kind of a walking tour as to the exhibit itself. The exhibit is largely centered in the uh, Kirby room on the second floor, but the docent helps you find other related areas where the exhibit extends, including on the first floor. Uh, but you're good to go, if you will, through the end of August of this year. And uh, it's the type of exhibit that you can probably move as fast as you want or as slow as you want in terms of taking it all in. Um, Michael so Mullen fun. from the, that's wonderful. Michael Mullen from the Washington Association. You can find out more on your Instagram page, Washington Association underscore NJ, for this and the other celebratory events. Michael Mullen, thank you for so much for joining us today. Thank you again for inviting us. Have a great day. You too. Steeped in history right here, just steps from the I green in it. Morristown. I love it. How cool it. is that? So, yeah, with a little bit of an indoor activity, like with this cold weather that we've been having and spring yeah. break around the corner, uh, I think that, uh, Dina, there's some I good, am putting it on my list. Ahead. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. I'm putting George Washington on my list. And I will say, since I live really close to Morristown, and the green, just a fun fact, go to the museum exhibit and then go to Beanie's for ice cream. You can thank me Great later. Idea. <laughs> well, you're watching the New Jersey Morning Show. Catch us daily online at onnj.com from 9 until noon.